Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to recover files from an SD card using Wondershare Photo Recovery. The first step of course is to go ahead and plug in your SD card to your computer as well as launch Wondershare Photo Recovery. After that we're simply going to click on the start button to get started and this is going to bring up all of the drives that are connected to our computer. If your drive is not showing up properly or at all, simply click on refresh drives and it will update the names or the actual drives connected. In this case, that brought up my proper SD card, so I'll just make sure I have it selected. We can then click on filter options, and inside of here, we can firstly start off by selecting the file types we're looking to recover. I'm going to go ahead and mark them all and deselect all of them. Then I'm going to go ahead and select photos, as well as different video types. That way I can increase my search results and narrow it down to just a few file types that I really want to look for. In the select region area, it's a bit more advanced, but it allows you to set the starting and ending sector to search on your SD card. In this case, it's set to zero to the maximum ending sector, which will basically search through the entire thing. Once we're happy with all of our filter options, we're gonna go ahead and click on the scan button, and it's then going to start searching for those file types we've selected, and the amount of time this will take will vary upon the size of your SD card, as well as the number of files it actually finds. After that process is complete, it's going to load up all of the files it's managed to recover. It's also going to tell us how many files and how large, in this case 35 files, just over 10 gigabytes, and it's organized the files it's found into file folders with the different file types. And for some file types, such as photos and documents, you can actually preview them. However, in this case, since I just found some videos, it's not able to process those and preview them. However, we have found all of the files we've wanted. So all we have to do now is deselect the file types we don't want and select the ones we do want. And in the bottom right, it's gonna tell us how many files we have selected and how much space those are gonna take up. And in this case, seven files at two gigs. This feature is super helpful for managing files. Instead of just recovering all of the files that it's found, we can actually manage it and save file space on our actual computer. Once we're ready, we'll just click on the recover button select a drive that is not our SD card and click on recover and now it's going to go ahead and recover all of those files. Of course the time this takes will depend on how many files you have selected as well as how large they are but it's generally a pretty quick process as for the most part you're just copying files. And once those files have finished recovering it's going to go ahead and load up the folder where they've been saved to. In this case they're separated into the proper files and here we have all of our recovered video files, which we can now play to our leisure, back up, or do whatever we want. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That is how you recover files from an SD card using Wondershare Photo Recovery.